what is going on guys name is here bringing you guys a brand new video now the last couple of days have been absolutely insane in roster mania we've seen two major changes and just unexpected things going on within the call of duty scene but that's what happens when big name players are on the bench and teams are struggling and want to make a change these things happen let's get into this video so basically what happened uh was tj was benched unexpectedly by the la thieves despite their success over the last course of uh the last two months they won six out of their last, let's see, one, two, three, four, six out of their last eight matches, which is pretty impressive. I mean, with their only losses being to the two champions of this game, FaZe and Ultra, uh, TJ let out this tweet. I've been benched by Thieves, GL to them, looking forward to the future at 1.43 p.m. on May 4th. So, obviously, everybody was mind blown, pretty shocked at this change. Uh, TJ going to the bench, uh, seeing the success that LA Thieves was having, but... You know, seeing TJ go to the bench, I think we all had a feeling of what was going to happen, right? Like you don't just bench a player if your team's succeeding like that like tj unless you got a big name player to come and take his spot so shortly after that the la thieves announced let's go to the the original tweet Hook was going to be moving into the starting lineup not even an hour after tj's initial tweet so let's watch this video and react to it These are back in the AW days, man, playing against Nate Shot. Boy's a dog. I am Tyler Darian, gamer tag Hoop, and I am a submachine player for the LA Thieves. Oh, that just sounds weird. You know, I've known Nate since 2015, and being able to play for him and play for this organization will be special. I mean, <laughs> there's clay on the dart. First day out, you know what I'm saying? With Land coming back, I'm super excited to get back into it. I mean, coming into the team, especially with uh, Draza and Venom, you know, they're both new faces into the league. Being on the main stage with them for the first time is going to be something special. So I'm excited what I could bring out of them. So we're just going to see what happens. Land up on the uprise. It's time to get at it. And on a last note, I would really like, you know, show appreciation to Hashro and my last organization because mm. I've been there for about six years now. So um, mm. they've been helping me out through the whole process of getting me here. So um, I appreciate all the Dallas Empire fans and MV fans that have been supporting me throughout my journey the past few years. Um, I really do appreciate it. And to the new fans, what you can expect from me is hard work, dedication. You know, we ain't stopping. That's all. Kind of hit all there, like. Questions. I usually ask this one for fun. It's just like, yeah, you have any words for Mr. Shot? For who? <laughs> what a big change in the Call of Duty uh, landscape, man. I mean, he was the staple over at Envy. He was their golden child. And uh, there still isn't a complete detailed list of what happened uh, for him to get benched by Empire. But yeah, moving to LA Thieves. I mean, I think that it's a good move for the Thieves. Uh, let's look at some of the other tweets and stuff that were let out. Uh, Hook said, thank you, Dallas Empire and Envy for the last six years. This is a big part of my gaming career and got nothing but appreciation for everyone there. Um, I mean, he was on that team for so long. Uh, Thieves tweet out, Stage Street Major about to be a movie. Hook Skywalker and Kylo Ken. I mean, this happened on May the 4th. That's actually just wild to think about. Let's close some of these tabs. Um, and then Dallas Empire tweeted, we have agreed to terms to transfer Hook to a mutually agreed upon team. We are incredibly proud of you. And everything you have accomplished, Hook, we wish you the best. Getting something like I mean, he won a world championship with these guys. It's a dream, essentially. Like, that's what it truly represents to me. This little farewell video to him, um, which is, you know, it's kind of bittersweet, right? Like, he was he was the golden child of Envy. When you thought about Empire, you thought about Hook. Uh, for almost five years, Kyler was a staple here at Envy and Dallas Empire. I love and appreciate this kid, and he knows that. Hopefully, you all know that. Team chemistry changes, but that doesn't mean you can't love and respect all of the ingredients congrats 100t you got a gem i mean so guys we got to tip the hat to hastro uh obviously the players and the team uh felt like they couldn't play with hook anymore and hastro's in this position where he either trapped hook and didn't allow him to compete in some of his best years and worried about the future or he let him go to another team uh what hastro did here i think is extremely uh, respectable and commendable uh to let Hook go to LA Thieves. I mean, you're making your competition stronger. You're putting Hook, uh, you're giving up, you know, the cornerstone of your franchise. Um, and you're believing in, you know, the rest of the squad, which they still have a really good squad, but giving up giving up Hook is a is a definite dent 
in your roster in terms of talent uh you look at who through this season where you know he feels like he can even be better and he's still top 15 in terms of overall kd on the entire season despite empire struggles uh hook with an smg is you know unequivocally top five smg in the game uh the plays that he makes on the map are extremely impactful he knows how to play he puts in a ton of hours his movement is unreal his shot is unreal and his anticipation is on another level as well i can't gas this guy up enough uh, he's a generational talent and he's still very young in his career so he's got years and years left like 100t la thieves what they've done since entering cod has just been wild to me they've made so many roster changes i mean basically their whole roster is new uh and they're building a really good squad i mean the cards they were dealt like they had a good team it didn't work out and they've made a lot of changes so i have a lot of respect for nade shot as well let's go through some of his tweets uh hookah's generational fps talent he will go down as a top 10 player all time and everything is said and done i truly believe that when a player like that becomes available you do whatever it takes to sign him so excited to have him here at la thieves and yeah i know a lot of people are wondering why tj instead of venom uh, I think that they're just looking for consistency. Uh, Venom brings a lot in the communication department. Uh, he's pretty consistent. I know he started off a little bit rocky, but he's gotten a lot better since then. So I think uh, they they believe having Hook in the lineup will bring the extra SMG slang ability. Uh, Venom can sort of be, you know, the guy that fills in the gaps, who's consistent, bringing that communication. And I think they have a good balance because if you look at the roster, Kenny is playing phenomenal Call of Duty right now. Uh, he's top two AR on the game, in my opinion, right behind Insight. Uh, and I think that their team can do a ton of damage. I think that this just took them from being a solid team with upset potential to a championship caliber team. They were already getting there with their last roster, but you know, adding this talent can only make you better, right? Like they might start off a little bit struggling just because they're figuring themselves out. But as time goes on, I think this team is gonna get a lot better, especially champs time, which is what everybody's looking forward to, uh, is to win the big tournament at the end of the year, right? So you make this change now, you have time to become the best version of yourself. And I think LA Thieves made a very, very good decision here. Um, even if it doesn't really pan out to championships this year, they have Hook in the roster, and you got to respect that. Being trying to think of the right words after today's announcement of Hook joining LA Thieves, but I just can't seem to get it straight in my head. So here's what I'll say. Roster changes are tough, especially when it's moving on from players who are your friends and clearly have enough talent to compete on a starting roster today. It just sucks, plain and simple. At the end of the day, you just try and make the right decision based off the information that's in front of you and hope it works out. A great day, but sad as well. Hate this shit sometimes. I totally get it from Nate Shot's perspective. You got to remember this guy was a competitor at 1.2. So dropping players, especially when they're succeeding and playing well and, and doing a lot for your organization is extremely tough. But to be put in this position as Nate Shot, you have to make this decision. You have to make this decision. This is a tough spot to be in for him, but I respect it, man. He had no option. Uh, Hook is unbelievable talent and it should make their team way better. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it on terms of the Hook topic. Uh, I think that they're going to be very good. Let's look at the schedule. Uh, that they have coming up uh to see what they can do because i believe they're what are they they're two and one right now in stage three i believe so uh their remaining schedule they have is new york subliners uh coming up this week and is that it oh so they must be three and one so they have the new york subliners and that's it so let's look at the standings they have one big match before the major uh stage three groups so yeah, LA Thieves, they have one big matchup for the major. They can win that and potentially get first, if not top two in their group, and they're in a good spot. So I expect them to do a lot of damage. They have about two weeks before the major and it's time for them to turn up. They're in a good position. But either way, I hopefully you guys, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I know I was late. I was, you know, put in a pack by the COVID shot, the second one, but I'm immune now in about two weeks. So can't wait to get back to normal life, man. Much love and appreciation. I'll catch you guys next video. Oh, they're all looking. Got three down. Yeah, yeah. Inside, inside.